desk or workstation obviously is central to the home office. It's pretty much a must-have piece of office furniture. This is my new workstation. I've been using it for a few months now and it's working well. It was a key component in my office facelift project. So I wanted to take a few minutes and talk about why it's working and give you some things to consider when choosing what might work best for you and also how you might consider arranging your space. Everyone's needs are different. Your workstation needs are heavily determined by two factors. One, the tasks you do at the desk, and two, the space you have available. Let's start with number two. This room is small. It's only eight by ten and a half feet. And there's three doors, one, two, three, and the window, and that inhibits use of some of the floor space. So it was necessary to look for something of compact size, both length and width. As to the type of tasks I do, it's pretty much all computer work. I have three computers, one, two, three. So I need space to spread those out, but I don't need a lot of depth for these. I need some surface for a notepad, a tablet, and a few other items I like to have at hand, but anything more and it just starts to become cluttered. And if it's cluttered, I won't dust it. With these needs in mind, I started looking for a solution. I thought I might have to try a couple different arrangements to see what was really going to work. So I didn't want to spend a lot of money on test items. This is what I came up with on my first try. And actually, it's working great. So here, take a look at what this product is and how I put it together. And then we'll come back here and I'll give you my thoughts on my office arrangement and a couple little things I did to this to trick it out so that it works really well. All right. This is a little L-shaped uh, light duty task desk I purchased. Um, so I'm going to open this up and see what it takes to assemble it. This table was inexpensive, less than $100. There's a link below in the description. It's available in a variety of surface colors, but it's simply an imitation veneer on the particle board. But as such, it's surprisingly well made. All the corners are clean and square. The framework is lightweight, rectangular steel tubing. Everything is pre-drilled and ready for assembly. It came with a variety pack of screws and everything necessary to complete the assembly, including a combination Allen wrench Phillips screwdriver tool. A note about the screws. They come in a plastic pack of individual sections, each containing screws of different size and length. The sections are numbered to correspond to the assembly instructions. Don't tear open the pack and mix up the screws. If you use the wrong size screws in certain locations, it will permanently damage the product. The instructions are clear, picture-based, no text, and I found them easy to follow. That said, I'm experienced. I've assembled and built a lot of things. If you've never done this before, take your time, study the diagrams. The instructions recommend using two people. If you've never done this type of assembly before, it would certainly be helpful to have a second set of hands, or for that matter, eyes on the instructions. Also, don't use a power driver to assemble this thing. Use the funky tool they provide, or your own manual screwdriver. Otherwise, it's too easy to over tighten the screws and tear out the wood, and you won't be able to fix this if you do. It took me 
less than one hour to complete the entire assembly. I think a lot of people would have taken a setup like this and stuck it in a corner over there. Just because, you know, this is a small room and they think, well, that makes the best use of the space. But then you'd be sitting there staring at a wall. And I didn't want to stare at a wall. That feels really confining. I set this up in this arrangement so that I have a broader feel in a small room like this. I've got a view across the hall out that bedroom window. I've got a view through the kitchen dining room all the way across the street this way. This window gives me a little bit of view to the yard. And I added a mirror here, which was my fiance's idea, so that it reflects some more light and reflects some of that space into the environment to make it feel bigger. And it's nice. I don't feel trapped. I don't feel crammed in a corner. I added electrical outlets down here so I could power all these electronic devices more conveniently. If you'd like to know how to do that, check out my video on Add Electric Outlets, a cutting box how-to. Also, the frame on this desk under here is actually really well uh, arranged to help you with your cable management. What I did is I mounted an electric strip on this rung over here so I could plug things in. And then I routed all the cables along the framework using black zip ties and twist ties and brought them over to the outlets. Keeps it all off the floor, away from my feet. Makes it easy to vacuum and keep the floor clean. Lastly, I found I needed some task lighting, some surface lighting on the desk here. I tried a couple of desk lamps and they worked. I mean, they, the thing was is they threw some glare on my screens and they also took up space on this desk surface, which, you know, it's small and I didn't like giving up that space. Then I heard about these light bars and I decided to give that a try. I had to come up with a solution to attach the light bar to my old thick bodied monitor. Um, but check out my video, Modern Light Bar on Old Monitor Incompatibility Solved, and you'll see how I corrected that. And this is working great. I, I, I really like it. It's comfortable. I can sit here for several hours. I don't feel confined. Um, yeah, it, it's, it's a good solution. Yeah, I'm a woodworker. I like real wood. I like quality handcrafted furniture. But I was looking for a solution and didn't want to invest a lot of money just to see what was going to work. This is working out really well. So perhaps sometime I will upgrade and get something nice that sort of uh, meets the same kind of arrangement. But right now this is great, it allows me to get to work and accomplish what I need to. I hope this gives you some ideas on what to think about to make your workstation comfortable and convenient for you. It's worth taking time to do so. Thanks for watching the video.